All right, everyone. I know the workbench is messy because I've been working. I got my box of resistors out, capacitors and stuff, and I'm start working on the electronics for this thing. And well, I got something today from Paragraphics. I flash that kind of fast because their address is on there. But it's a mailing address for a business, so I don't think it matters too much. It is for the Enterprise 1701. Okay. I didn't know they had it. Yeah, I just found out they had it. It's a photo etch set for this little guy. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and zoom. We're going to use my capacitor box as a display stand. We have a little light there. I'm going to move the camera a little bit. So we're just taking a look. Here's the introduction. Here's directions. And there's the photo etch. It is on a plastic car. Uh, he always ships his photo etch with cardstock. So it's not too bad. What I'm mainly interested in is this drilling template for the windows. Okay. That should make drilling the windows a lot easier to do and get them in a more level position. There are other things on here which are good. The impulse grills, these are for going across here to help with lighting that. Those I knew I could replicate with paint, but it's nice to have them. It has a shuttle bay, so I can actually open a shuttle bay. It has an Aberitum, so I can actually get that to light and look right. It has a nameplate for the base, and it has a few other assorted things like all the docking ports and all that fun stuff. Windows for the um, rec room, or whatever you call it. So, let me zoom in on this so we can see it a little, little bit better. There we go, that's better. I can't point at things as easily. Now, taking a look at it, you can see that's going to work. That's going to make those impulse, impulse grills look fabulous. Okay, that will. Paint that black, put that over that clear and those impulse grills are going to look exactly like they're supposed to without a whole heck of a lot of nasty work on painting and masking and all that stuff let's take a look at the directions so i know what i'm getting myself into i suspect that gluing that part on right now is going to give me grief i suspect that's true i also have some really tiny LED lights downstairs that I got for the strobes and one thing I want to say is that I haven't done the electronics for a little while and I'm having a lot of fun with those electronics okay so let's open this up you know this is your typical directions bridge and officers lounge Okay, and it shows can be formed before gluing in place. It's talking about what they go. This detail isn't even on the model, I know, because I've looked, and it is on the photo etch. Yep, found it. That's definitely going to add something. It's right there. That's definitely going to add something to this, because I know that's not on the actual kit supplied parts. Okay. Yeah, the back of the office of the uh, bridge is just blank. It's right here. The back of it is just blank. So it's good to know that that's there. Let me zoom this out so you guys can see the directions a little bit better. That might help. There we go. So it's nice to know that's there. The um, window for that deck, the hole is already there. It's clear plastic. And we have a frame there. I'll re let's read that and see what it says about that frame. Attach parts 10 and 13 as shown. Remove the front tab from the bridge, kit part number 3. Okay. And fill the corresponding hole in the upper primary hole, kit part 2. Simulate the spotlights. Okay. Attach etch part 10 and 13 as shown. Kit decals do not match these parts. 
tip the officer's lounge window frames can be formed by gluing in place an easy way to do this is to snip the attachment tabs from the clear kit part and temporarily installing it once the edge part has been formed to the right shape remove the clear part and if desired remove the area that it snapped into okay now the part i'm most worried about planetary sensor platform yep it tells me to remove a whole bunch of stuff i've already glued on isn't that going to be fun okay here's the planetary sensor platform what it says the sensor platform covers part of photo edge part 14 15 or designed for those who are lighting kit if you're not lighting in price you will likely find it easier to omit this step before proceeding snip off the locking tabs on the lower sensor platform kit part four and hold in position on the lower primary hull kit part one now take a sharp pencil and trace around the platform the marcus location you're removing all of the locator tabs and pins i've already attached that to the part so this is going to be even more fun than i can believe because I've even seam filled it with some aves. So we're going to have a real interesting time removing parts of these. Okay. Yeah, this should be fun. Fill the locator holes and slots on lower primary hard because these will visceral after assembly. Cut off the ends of spotlight section as shown on the right. And just remove them completely. Okay. Fold and apply the sensor covers are shown. You'll likely find it easier to do once the platform has been attached to the hole. Kit decals may not fit precisely. That's what I need to know is the kit decals aren't going to fit, right? That's what it's talking about for this. The impulse engine grills are going to be simple. You just put them on there. Okay, it says the kit decals do not fit parts 12 and 11 nor do they fit part 103 which isn't surprising primary edge windows tape the grilling guides the edge of primary hole is shown for the oval and square windows you might need to employ very fine jeweler files or your preferred method note the drilling guide five uses six times while glide six and seven are only used once the kit decal window positions do not match up with these drilling guides tip the arrow etch into each guide indicates the up direction and the small triangular tabs on the top and bottom of the tip piece line up with the deflector grid okay that's nice to know so you can get them to line up really well and it won't line up with the windows on the kit decals this is getting more and more fun shuttle bay and arboretum that's this part over here okay uh require fairly extensive modifications secondary hull all these modifications are easy to be accomplished with the razor saw and files in short older order you want to remove all the locator pins and all the interior support along these areas so they will fit uh, then you got to remove the shock the back door of the shuttle bay or you won't be able to see the shuttle bay okay And Arboretum windows are given, and I bet those don't match the kit decals. Well, it doesn't say that. Docking ports for the four location secretary hole. Okay, the docking ports are all over the ship. Now, warp engine grills. It talks about the warp engine grills right there. It says, attach the photo edge. You can paint the grills ahead of time to eliminate masking. Use clear adhesive, such as micro crystal clear. For extra accuracy, you can remove the small tabs at the front of the edge, parts 16 and 17. Note that this will make the parts more difficult to work with. Okay. And then the names plate can go on the stand like that so it looks like i'm up for some fun some of these things don't match the kit supply decals which is wonderful to hear i'm still working on filling in the seams this is kind of sat because work has taken over and become extra special difficult okay it's kind of surprising that the photo etch parts don't match the kit supplied decals okay now let's take a look. I made copies of the kit supplied decals for those windows because, well, I'm kind of special that way. Because I made copies, I've got enough of this gray striping that I could do the whole thing. Let's take a look. Can I get it? And I'm going to do this off to the side. 
easiest one would probably be the rectangular windows. Okay. Can I get those to line up right on top of that? Well, you know what? Let's take, let me move this where you guys can see it and do a zoom. Because guess what? I mean, I'm pretty sure he knows what he's talking about when he makes these directions for these prop products that he's selling. But if you take a look and you can see it right there, they do line up with the decals. With the square windows do anyhow. Okay. It gave a good hint on what to do with the uh, little tiny window. So it looks like I got a trip to Hobby Lobby coming up. Find some jeweler's files because that's what I'm going to have to use to do that with. Okay. Well, it looks like I'm going to have some fun with this photo etch. There's plenty for me to do just based off looking at it. The Arboretum is going to take, take a little bit of work because that isn't going to stay brass. There's no point to that. So a little bit of paint and a little bit of landscaping material can make that look really good with just a tiny bit of it. Okay. The shuttle bay, there is no photo etch for the landing grid that you usually have. There is no decal for that. So I'll have to look and see if I can find something and print my own decal for that. Because, well, why would there be? There isn't anything. You're not even supposed to have a shuttle bay in it. And various other things. I'm going to try to decide if I want to even bother with the shuttle bay. Because it does require an awful lot of modification in here. This has to go. These have to go. The Arboretum doesn't require as much modification. But you're going to have to cut this piece out of the bottom to get the Arboretum in there. Sorry, these are the pins that have to go for the shuttle bay to fit. So do these. And again, you have to modify this bottom part pretty heavily to get the Arboretum in there. Okay? So there will be some work to get this to go, but it should be able to go. I get to work on it some this weekend. So I'll be back in a little bit. I get to sand all this stuff down. Hopefully I can do that tomorrow before I go to work. I just need a little bit of time. But during the day, my time is usually consumed with babies. With Miri, the crazy little baby and keeping track of my business and stuff like that. Well, anyhow, I gotta go. I gotta get to bed. It's kinda late. I will talk to y'all later.